Hi, I'm Baron Ryan here on behalf of Carter Family Orthodontics. And if you are interested in getting Invisalign or are about to get Invisalign and want to know what to expect, then this video is for you. A little over a month ago, I got Invisalign for the first time from Carter Family Orthodontics, so I thought I'd tell you about what my experience has been so far. For my first appointment, which was about two months ago, I went in and they took a scan of my teeth. Apparently, before you had to bite into putty and get it pushed into all the crannies of your teeth. It was an unpleasant experience, apparently. But now, uh, at the office, they have this wand that takes takes a scan of your teeth. It takes, I don't know how many, hundreds or thousands of pictures. And it comes up with such an accurate scan that they can then send that on to Invisalign. And from there, Dr. Carter looks at that scan and can move your teeth where she wants them to go, ultimately, by the end of your treatment. And then, along with that and other specifications, I presume, they send you a set of trays to wear to, to get from where you are to where you're trying to go. Um, now, on my second appointment, which was when the treatment actually officially began, when I got from my first trays, I got these bumps glued onto my teeth using this cool space agey blue light activated glue that I still am confused and amazed by. And you got them on, I think, 10 of my upper teeth and eight of my lower, I'm not exactly sure, but they're there to keep the trays in place and also to help turn some teeth. So some of my teeth are, are a bit turned forward and so we want them to get them to where they're supposed to go and the bumps on the teeth help them do that. So I got my first trays. And these are not my first trays, obviously, but uh, I'll show you how I put them in. Very simple. You just go like so. Very exciting to watch, I'm sure. And then the lower trays. And then um, to make them get into place, you get this Chewy, which looks like a pool toy. So that you're not munching on the trays themselves. Now, the first ones... And the second trays that I put in were pretty uncomfortable. I thought, man, if this is what every tray is going to be like, then this is going to be an unpleasant experience. But all the trays since then have been not nearly as as uh, as bothersome. In fact, these I just put in right now for the first time, and uh, I can tell that they're going to move my teeth somewhat, but they're they're not painful. Um, so if you think, oh man, that this, these trays are, are I'm going to be up at night because of this, which I wasn't for the record. But um, but if you think, man, this is going to be tough, it's not going to always be um, as as bothersome as it is at the at the outset. Now you do take them out to eat, so it's not it's not that hard to take them out. I used to be really concerned about ripping the the bumps off. They're pretty pretty sturdy, so it's not that much of a concern. Uh, and you're supposed to wear them about 22 hours a day. I try to wear mine at least that. Often I can get 23 hours if I'm if I eat quickly, which I usually can. And um, then then the more time you have them in, the faster it's going to work. So I have a total of 38 trays over the course of 38 weeks. Uh, and uh, at the end there'll be some fine tuning. So it's not like that 38 weeks is all that there is. After that happens, then Dr. Carter will go back in and, and make any further adjustments that need to be made. But um, that's, what, that's what I know so far. When I figure out what, when I find out what the fine tuning adjustments are like, then I make another video blog. But if you have other questions, then ask Carter Family Orthodontics here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go to car carterfamilyorthodontics.com to find out more. Give them a call. Go in. Talk to them. They're nice people. For now, that's it. Thanks for watching.